Hey guys, it's Miss Josette, and I am here with this week's Kids Club lesson. And I just got back from picking Ashley up from her first week at summer camp, and that got me thinking about friends this week while she was gone, and meeting new friends, and um, getting to know new people. And I started thinking about friendships, and friendships in the Bible. And I was thinking when I was doing some research on it, it had me also thinking about movies with great friends in them. Have you ever seen the movie Jungle Book? It tells the story of a, the boy Mowgli who lives in the jungle amongst the animals. And he's trying to way, make his way back to his village. And along the way, he makes friends with all of these characters. There's King Louie of the apes and the bear Baloo. And he even meets a group of vultures who sing about friendship. And then I started thinking about another movie that has friends in it. And that's Toy Story. And Andy has Buzz and Woody and Jesse and T-Rex and even Ham the pig and they sing the song you've got a friend in me and in that song it says you've got a friend in me when the road looks tough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed just remember what your old pal said you've got a friend in me and then it even talks about if you've got troubles I've got troubles too there's nothing I wouldn't do for you you've got a friend in me and as the years go by, remember that I would be your friend. You've got a friend in me. That is a fun song that gets stuck in my head every time I think about Toy Story. But do you have a friend who is there for you? Do you have a best friend? A friend who cheers you up when you're feeling sad? A friend who stands by you no matter what? We all need a friend like that. We could all use a best friend. Matter of fact, I got to see my best friend today. And just even seeing your best friend can sometimes make you smile and realize how happy they make you be. But in my lesson and in our Bible story today, it tells about a friend who is just like that. In the Bible story that I want to share with you guys today, there was a man named Lazarus. And he lived in Bethany with his two sisters, Mary and Martha. And the Bible tells us of several times when Jesus visited with Lazarus and Mary and Martha. And they were his good friends. But one day, Lazarus became sick. And his sisters went to the Lord and said, Lord, your dear friend, his sisters sent word to Jesus saying, Lord, your dear friend Lazarus is very sick. But Jesus was in another town and he was far away and he was teaching and he didn't come right away. He didn't get back until four days later. And by the time Jesus got there, got back to Bethany, Martha ran out to meet him and told him that Lazarus had been dead. He had been dead for four days. And Martha was pretty mad at her friend. And she said, if you'd been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And Jesus said, your brother will rise again. Because I am the resurrection and the life, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. So Martha went back and got her sister Mary, and they showed Jesus where Lazarus was laying. And when he arrived at the tomb, Jesus told them to roll the stone away from the entrance. Now, remember, Lazarus had been dead for four days, so he would have started to decay. That, that tomb would have been pretty stinky. But Jesus prayed to his father, and he called out in a loud voice, Lazarus! Come out. And do you know that even after having been dead for four days, Lazarus walked out of that tomb and he wasn't even sick, that he showed no signs that he had been dead. Can you imagine having a friend like Jesus? I love my best friend and I've got a couple really good best friends and I love them all and they cheer me up. But can you imagine having a best friend like Jesus? Well, I can. Because not only do I have earthly best friends, but I have Jesus as my friend. And Jesus wants to be your friend too. Because just like that song, You've Got a Friend in Me, Jesus will be there for your troubles. He'll pick you up when you're down. He'll be with you till the bitter end. Because that's what friends are for. And the Bible tells us, Greater love hath no man than a man who would lay down his life for a friend. And boys and girls, I've got to tell you, that's exactly what Jesus did for you. He laid down his life for you. He laid down his life and died for you and me. He died for our sins. He died to protect us and help to forgive us from our sins and help us be able to go be with him in heaven. Isn't that amazing? 
I don't know too many of my friends that would really actually lay their life down for me. They say they love me and they would do anything for me, but I don't know too many of them who would do what Jesus did and actually lay their life down for me. I think that's amazing. And I might not get to see Jesus and I might not get to talk to him in the same way that I talk to my best friend, Heather, but I am able to talk to Jesus. I'm able to have a relationship with him and I am able to show love to him and he shows love back to me. And that is exactly what a friend is. Isn't that awesome? And so boys and girls, I just hope that if you have not made the choice to have Jesus as your friend, that you would do that now, that you would make that decision. If you want to talk about that, I am here to talk to any of you. Pastor Tim, Miss Jamie, Miss Carol, Miss Gretchen, we are all here to talk with you. Miss Amber, Mr. Dylan, we're all here to share with you how you can learn more about having Jesus as your best friend. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the friend that you've given me in your son, for the friend that you've given me in Jesus, that he will be there for me through the bitter end, even when I'm miles and miles from home, that he would be with me and he will help me and just love and support me no matter what, through the good times and the bad times, that he is there as my friend. Father, I praise you in the name of your son. Amen. Bye, guys. See you soon.